folks, welcome back to my show. This is my uh, friend Bernard. We used to play metal uh, together um, some years ago, and uh, he's doing some poetry and stuff, so I'll go ahead and uh, let Bernard tell you some details about his poetry and what he's up, up to these days. Hey, how's everybody doing? Um, yeah, so I've been writing poetry for about 20, 22 years. It started in March 2001. And, um, you know, recently I kind of got sick at this rare illness and went into the hospital. And during that time, you know, I just kind of pulled out um, poetry and was going through it. And, you know, my mind was like, you need to really uh, get this, po you know, published. I've got about 300 poems. So that time, you know, I'm not able to work right now. So I just been basically every day eating well, working out and going through my poetry and editing and getting it ready to uh, be published this summer. And that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Okay, that's that's cool stuff. You you sent me some stuff that you did with some music in the background. So can you explain the genesis to that? Because it was really cool. Hope you didn't mind. I played some of that for my mom, and she she really liked it. Oh um, yeah, because I um, I have this program where I can record myself uh, doing the poetry, and then also in the program you can like I, one day I noticed you can select music for the track. So um, send it to people online. That's kind of pretty much what I did. I write the poet, the poem, send them the poem itself, and then, uh, record some music to it and send it to them. Cause I thought that was a good idea. And I definitely want to, you know, publish, uh, some books of my poems, but I also want to, uh, sell the, the audio versions that I have, create some beats to go with the poem so that people can listen to them in their car, or in their home, you know, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. So, um, as I said from the top, um, we'll take it back a little bit. Um, we used to play in a metal band together, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, black well, guys playing metal. How about that? <laughs> I I really enjoyed that. You know, I re I wish I was uh, in a band today, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it was a metal band called High Five for Suicide. I was the lead yep. singer or, or screamer, and uh, Jaja here was the bassist, and uh, it, it was fun times. You know, unfortunately, the band broke up because of some inner issues between the two uh, guitarists. But, uh, you know, we played for some years, and uh, it was a great experience. I really enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, that was actually the last band I actually played in, actually. Um, so I had one band I, you know, I played with for, you know, 10 years. Um, and um, when I started playing with you guys, it was actually towards the end of my tenure with that Legend of the Bat. And, you know, I played with you guys for a couple of years. And, but, uh, yeah, it was definitely a good time. Did some house shows, played out some places uh, here in the D.C. area. You know, you know definitely a good time. So... Let's see if I can see if I got any uh, recordings of that somewhere. Maybe you do or Nick or Ben or something like that. We got to try to get some of that stuff out. Huh? Yeah, I definitely have some recordings. So does Nick. And we've actually been talking about that, like just trying to get uh, some things out. Because, you know, when we did play locally, we were a pretty, pretty popular band. A lot of people right. loved our music. And, um, yeah, he we were talking about trying to get some, you know, stuff out there for people to listen. Yeah, that'd be awesome, man. That'd be awesome. Cool. And, so, um, um, what do you expect to do for your um, your book to come out on, like your poems? Sometime, like in June or July, I've decided uh, that I want to go ahead and uh, copyright like the first thir like thirty poems because I've looked up that I can uh, get thirty poems cop or ten poems. I'm sorry, copywritten for thirty eight dollars. Okay. I have twenty five poems in it. You know, I've already got them ready edit it, whatnot. I just want to get them copywritten and then uh, seek for, uh, you know, the right publisher. So okay. sometimes this summer, like in June to July, I should be ready to go ahead and make that happen. Well, that sounds pretty exciting. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the finished product and pushing that out for you. So, that, you know, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited myself. Like I said, I've been writing for 22 years and all of a sudden, you know, my mind was just like, you know, you've, you've excelled so much, progressed so much, it's time to get it together, get the book out there, and, and you know, get moving in that direction. And all these new years that I've known you, I had no idea that you did poetry. <laughs> I realized that because a lot of people have said the same because when I was writing, it was such a passion that, you know, I would write, I would write, and I wouldn't really say anything about it, you know, because me and my girlfriend at the time, when, when you're in the band, I was still with my girlfriend, my son's mother, and she's an artist, and the poet, and her and I used to do a lot of work together, and I just never right. really... I was just so uh, passionate about doing it that, you know, it didn't really matter to me about showing it to people. But now, you know, as the years have passed, I'm like, I've, I've excelled and I'm ready to get it published and, and share it with the world. Okay, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Well, you know, I hope to 
be able to do a follow-up, you know, um, a release type thing for you once you're ready to do that. You know, it'd be kind of cool to, you know, put out and be like, hey, you know, he's, um, he's got it published and it's not for the world to see, so. Yep, that's what I'm excited awesome. about. Yeah, okay. All right. The first book uh, sometime this summer, hopefully by June, July. Yeah. So you going with a specific type of theme or you just kind of whatever comes to mind? As far as what? Um, as, um, as far as... Um, as far as your poems go, hmm? um, well, there's no like real theme right now for this book, especially the first one. Okay. It's, um, it's like I said, it's 25 poems that I've written over the last uh, 22 years. Uh, the second book, I've got all those poems ready as well, and um, there's no specific concept or genre or whatever. It's just you all know right. um, uh, a bunch of poems that I think are really just from good. the heart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can dig it. <laughs> So, folks, Bernard's going to send me um, something, um, some poetry, done to some music he put together, and I'm going to add a little uh, stock footage visually, and, uh, and uh, you know, well, that's how we'll end this segment here. So, Bernard, I'll talk to you soon, and thanks for being on the show, and uh, best of luck to you. Okay, Thank you for uh, having best of me, luck sir. To you. Okay. You too. Good to see you again. I hope you have a great day. We'll stay in touch. And that's a wrap, man. <laughs>